morning everybody. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I thought it would be an appropriate day for us to hang out. I've got some errands to run and I thought I would take you guys with me. I'm about to sound like an absolute grandma but I need to go to Denby Pottery Village. <laughs> Basically I have got some plates that I need to try and find the exact same ones because I don't have enough. They're these beautiful white plates oh my god look at them i've only got four of them i need at least six so i'm gonna go on a hunt i also need to replace some bowls that i've chipped as well i do have other plates how thrilling is this but they're really old and look at the state of them look at the state of them <laughs> so i am on a mission to find the correct plates. Might even get some cutlery whilst I'm at it. Uh, also, near Denby Pottery Village, there is a B&M not far. So I'm gonna go to B&M because I need to get some wrapping paper because dare I say, I'm leaving it quite late this year to wrap gifts. I've got so many presents to wrap and I don't have that much wrapping paper. So, you guessed it, I'm gonna go on a wrapping paper hunt. So that's today, come along with me. I'm gonna go put my shoes on because I'm currently wearing Crocs. Look, don't judge me, but they're comfortable. They're easily washable. Look at all of my really stylish gibbets or whatever they're called. I've not got sports mode activated, but when I tell you, I know they're ugly, but boy are they practical. Okay guys, before I grab my coat and head out, I'm gonna show you something really cool, but I will say it's really bougie. My car is special because it's got a defrost mode. Long gone are the days where I have to get my de-icer out and a scraper. My dad actually said that it's cheating and I've gotta say, I do agree. I'll show you, it has a defrost button. So I can click defrost car and in a few minutes, all of the ice will disappear off my car. How magical is that? Okay, let's go be a grandma. Before I set off, I've just got to show you guys something. It is currently minus two and it would have been colder in the night, but just to prove how cold it is here in England, I left this bottle of water in my car and it's, it's an ice block, it, it's frozen. <laughs> I don't know why that amuses me, but it does. So I guess I won't be drinking much today until my car's heated up inside. But yeah, anyway, let's get a move on because it's about half an hour drive, I think. I'm just going to pop that into the navigation. Denby Pottery. If you've never been, by the way, it's like, a, it's like an outlet. I think you can go make pottery there as well, but I'm going for their outlet store. I've made it. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous whilst driving. I tried to clean my windscreen and it was almost like my washer fluid was frozen. I suspect it was frozen. It's melted now though, so I have managed to clean my screen, but <laughs> it was getting very dirty. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to see through it in a minute. <sighs> Delightful. Let's go buy some plates. back in the car with a very sniffly nose because it's cold outside. <laughs> I've also done that thing where I get back to the car, I need a wee, but I'm not, I have no plans to go back. I've got to go to B&M and I know that they won't have a toilet. I'm just gonna have to hold it guys, I think, because then I've got to drive home. <laughs> We've got this, I'm sure when I warm up, I won't need it as much, but yeah, Denby, always a joy my bank card always weeps because it's not cheap Denby's a brand that I've known about all my life like my grandma used to give us her hand-me-down Denby and um, 
yeah, it's just it's just lovely stuff, and I got everything that I came here for, which is again not heard of, is it? Anyway, I'm gonna head to B and M, have a quick squeeze around, a little mooch, get some wrapping paper and that kind of thing, and I think I'm gonna head home, and I will I'll do a little haul for you. We have arrived at the best shop in the world. Disagree, and you are wrong. Also, I have noticed that there's an Iceland next door, and I'm not gonna lie pretty big fan of Iceland especially when it comes to their like freezer stuff so ooh girl I need to control myself this is my favorite aisle where all the laundry things are can recommend coconut surf delish guys a blast from the past I have not seen opal fruit since I was like five so I've bought a bag, bought my mum a bag as well. I feel very old. If you don't know what opal fruits are, well, I'm showing my age. Tupperware heaven. This is what dreams are made out of, I'm telling you. We've found the wrapping paper. This is quite cute. I like that colour as well. Woo! Okay, it is 4pm. I've got to say, <laughs> it's getting dark really early now that it's winter and I'm not the biggest fan of it but yeah I've done B&M we've done Iceland we've done Denby I, I love Iceland I love stocking up my freezer and I will show you some of the exquisite finds that I found from there when I get home same for B&M I'll do a little haul of everywhere that I've been today it's kind of been like a come shop with me and here's what I bought uh, I've also got to cook dinner because I've only had a bowl of cereal today and that is definitely not enough anyway i'm gonna drive home now i will see you when i get back and just like that i'm home i've got the denby stuff b m stuff iceland stuff and i do have a few packages as well that have just arrived so i'm gonna show you what i got from iceland first because i need to put it in the freezer okay iceland haul first things first greg's mini sausage rolls uh i wanted these for christmas we always have the day after like christmas day when we have all our christmas dinner we have like turkey sandwiches and like pringles cheese boards but we also have like sausage rolls and i was like oh i'm very happy that they do greg's ones and they had cheese and onion ones as well and i was just like you know what they sound quite nice Next is something that I could not resist. I love cheese and I love Branston, which is like pickle. So these are by Cathedral City, which is like a cheese brand. And they are cheesy Branston bites. So it's breaded cheddar cheese, mozzarella and soft cheese bites with smooth Branston pickle filling. Oh my God, this is... <laughs> This is like porn. A big bag of Yorkshire pudding, Aunt Bessie's, no less. Um, these are for Christmas, I'm gonna put them in the freezer. If you don't shop at Iceland, firstly, you're missing out. Secondly, they do like loads of Yo Sushi stuff, and they also have a full like Chiquito, Chiquito range? Chiquito, Chiqui Chiquitos. Um, they have a full range, if you've never been there, it's like a Mexican restaurant and it's so good. This is a pulled pork burrito bowl that you just shove in the oven and then it's like, you don't need to go to Chiquitos because you've got Chiquitos at your house. What? More Greg stuff. I got festive bakes, but I got the vegan ones because honestly, I can't tell the difference. They taste, in fact, I would go as far to say as the vegan sausage rolls and vegan festive bakes taste better than the normal ones. Mic drop. Salmon parcels. These with steamed veg is like the best quick easy dinner, especially if you live on your own. Whip one in the oven for like 20 minutes or so, steam your veg in the microwave for three minutes, bam, salted, delicious. And the last couple of things that I got were also for Christmas. Peas and we always buy like fresh parsnips, but I was like, if I can't get any, I've got a backup. And if I don't use these, I will literally eat these on their own as a snack. These are honey roasted parsnips, honey glazed, sorry, parsnips. Parsnips are my favorite vegetable of all time. I could eat quite happily this entire bag. That's how much I love parsnips. All right, 
I've unwrapped everything that I got from Denby. I also phoned my mom. I was like, mom, let me show you the thing. So she got the exclusive haul. I'm very sorry. Firstly, could not resist um, an impulse purchase of this really cute mug. It's a Denby mug. It was £12.60, but I just looked at it and I was just like, that, I just feel calm when I look at those colours. And I was like, that is delightful. So that's came home with me. Um, I now, because I have a one mug in and one mug out rule, means that I have to get rid of one of my mugs because I just don't have the space and I don't want to become one of those mug hoarders. If you happen to be watching Brother of Mine, stop watching because this is one of your Christmas presents. I bought my brother some mugs because he loves coffee and one of the presents that he wanted for Christmas was coffee beans and I was like, you know what? I'm getting some really nice bougie coffee mugs to go with those beans. So I've got in these and oh my god they're beautiful. These are the Halo range from Denby. It's called a Halo Heritage mug but yeah I've got two of these. These were eleven ninety each. Oh my god just so beautiful. Denby's stuff's just really gorgeous. Like look at that. Oh dark on the inside, speckled on the bottom. Very nice. Sorry, I just had to change my camera battery. Now, the main reason why I went to Denby in the first place was to get more of these plates because when I lived on my own for the first time, I went to Denby with my parents. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to some nice plates. Well, I did and I got four of them, but I have more than four people coming at Christmas. So I was like, well, I need to get a few more. Thank the heavens that they still have the same plates in stock. Uh, so I've got two of these big ones, which I was very happy with. Um, <laughs> they don't actually fit in my normal plate cupboard, which is a shame. So I've now got a special plate cupboard. I've become so old. I've also got some little side plates. So now I have six of those as well. And then my favorite cereal bowls. Now I only bought two of these when I originally bought some and I've chipped one, so I'm very sad about that. But I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get some extra bowls, so I did. Um, and these are the one, oh my God, just look. I know they're so simple and just white china, but they please me. So there you have it, Denby. And they, they've established themselves in 1809. They've been around a very long time, let me tell you. That's like two centuries. I made an impulse purchase guys, but it's like one of the most adult purchases I've ever done. Now, I have cutlery and like old plates, which are from when I lived with housemates. And I've never been a big fan of the cutlery in this house. So I was just like, you know what? I'm having Christmas here for the first year and I'm doing a special table, I've got nice plates and everything, and I'm going for it. First Christmas here, it's gonna be special. I was like, you know what, it's time. And I saw a cutlery set, oh my God. <laughs> I told you I'm a grandma. Seriously, I'm a grandma. I found this cutlery set. It's a 32 piece set, you wait. Um, I didn't think cutlery was this expensive, but I <sighs> You're gonna ask me how much it was. It was 89 pounds for this set. It was half price though. So I feel like I've got a bargain. And I'm never gonna have to spend any money on cutlery ever again in my entire life. So if you think about it that way, it's an investment. <laughs> oh, look how bougie. Oh, look at them. They're so shiny. But yeah, I really, I just like the design of them. Like, look at those. Oh. Yes. So we're gonna be eating with very nice cutlery this Christmas. So quite pleased with that. My bank account wasn't because the total in Denby came to under 200 pounds. This is why I don't go to Denby very often because I can't really afford it. Um. <laughs> right, next up, the damage that I did in B&M. <laughs> Um, why did I go for B&M? That's right, Christmas wrapping paper. Do these bags look Christmas wrapping paper shaped? No, they don't. However, I did get wrapping paper, I did. I got these two. I got this kind of sage Christmas forest vibe and then I got this quite 
tasteful and classy roll which has like winter berries and winter sprigs and pine cones i thought that was that was nice it goes with the vibe of my lounge i got a bow pack this ribbon set i was like these are genius i actually got three because i love a good bow i am one of these people that likes to make effort when it comes to christmas kind of wrapping um these ones i do recommend if you're trying to be a little bit more eco because these these specific ones are made out of paper that's right these are paper bows now these ones definitely not eco but you could you reuse them we've got gold bows and we've got red bows and they do come with a ribbon in the end as well these are two pounds each i'm ready to wrap i do not know where to start okay i'm going to start in this bag i've got pringles i've never been so joyed to see red pringles every time i've been to the supermarket recently red pringles have been out of stock and i was like i can't celebrate christmas if i don't have red pringles in the house so i've got two and because i know that my family are not the biggest fans of the red ones. I've got some of the green ones. I don't like these. So we've, we've got Pringles. Next up, I I mainly bought these for my, my mother. Um, she loves crisps. She also likes Aunt Bessie's. I found these. It's a collaboration between Seabrook's crisps and Aunt Bessie's and their roast beef and Yorkshire pudding crinkle cut crisps. Quite a big bag as well. So I've got those for my mum. Not a Christmas present, just a you like these um did i buy myself some as well yes i did i bought these <laughs> my mom i already know has bought these as christmas presents for other people but i know that she didn't buy them for me because i was with her when she was shopping so it's like i'm gonna feel left out so <laughs> bought myself some christmas chocolate toothpaste thrilling i know now guys i know i said this in the shop but i could not get my hat off i couldn't believe what i was seeing when i saw opal fruits opal fruits opal fruits does anyone remember opal fruits i think they're what starburst are now but starburst are different they taste different but i think it might be the same company oh these are a mars product would you believe anyway i have not seen these since i was a young child i'm talking like seven or eight years old i know like back in the caveman times um <laughs> but yeah so i was just like what a blast from the past so i bought myself some and i bought my mom some got myself some crunchy nut granola love a bit of granola i also bought surf coconut that's that's your lot that's the shopping haul now i do have a parcel which you're currently standing on right now i don't know what it is i don't know if it's a christmas present that's come late that i've ordered or if it's pr so bear with me let's see what's inside oh my god <laughs> look at what has just arrived guys they have treated me i didn't even know they did little rolls of rollos i've got rollos i've got munchies we got jelly tots i only like the green and the orange ones in those we've got milky bar best chocolate on the planet um we've got white chocolate smarties we've got fruit pastels we've got normal smarties oh my god mint aero bubbles guys okay well milky bar you you didn't need to send me that much but thank you merry christmas um to the milky bar team that have sent me that because i need to i'm gonna have to gift these to some of my friends and family because i can't eat all of that before the new year but the ones that i'm very excited about are milky bar uh jelly tots and honestly probably the rolos okay here's a question for you guys do you remember rolos were like who would you give your last rollo to who would you give your last rollo to i think that i would only give my last rollo to like my mom or my dad potentially rage i don't think i'd give my last roller to anyone else i think i'd eat it <laughs> i'm gonna go put all of this stuff away and then i'm gonna make myself some dinner it's half five and i think that i am going to make not sponsored by the way have never been sponsored by this company before people come for me for not disclosing ads gusto 
I wish they would sponsor me. I don't know if they even, I don't even know if they do sponsorships, but either way, um, this is a garlic crusted pork loin bake with parsley and mustard sauce. So that's option one. That's the option that I think I'm going for. Or I picked this one, which is stroganoff meat free meatballs because I actually find some plant-based meat tastier than actual meat. I'm feeling this because I kind of want the onions and the carrots. Oh, delicious. If you are interested in Gusto, again, not sponsored, I buy this with my own money and I'm recommending it because I find it a really good service. If you live on your own and you can afford to do so, this is so helpful. It means that you don't have to meal plan because they come straight to your front door and everything's perfectly portioned. And if you are like me, living by yourself, they the minimum box that they do is like, sorry, the minimum meal that they do is for two people. So when I cook this tonight, I get dinner this evening, but I also have dinner for myself tomorrow evening as well with the leftovers. So that's why I get the two meal boxes because that's four meals in a week sorted. And then the other three, I can do what I want to eat out, um, cook something from the freezer. I will show you what this looks like when it's cooked. It's gonna look delicious. this dinner look at it it looks like it has been served in a restaurant but I cooked that thank you Gusto that's tomorrow's dinner but look at it tell me that doesn't look delicious we've got carrot we've got potato we've got apple we've got onion we've got crispy garlicky pork loin oh my god anyway I'm gonna go and eat this because oh look at it look at it Yes, I'm going to do a taste test because ignore my bowl of conkers. <laughs> Keep spiders out your house. Okay, I'm gonna do a taste test. Mm. Oh my God. That is so good. That recipe, it's like perfect for winter. I love the apple, oh my God. Right, I'm gonna go devour this. All right, guys, I'm gonna call it a night with this vlog. Thank you for keeping me company today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give this video a magical thumbs up. I am about to dig into my advent calendar. This is the one I've got, by the way, Kinder Bueno. And then I think I'm going to snuggle up on my sofa and watch TV because it is nearly half seven on Friday night. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a whole load of Christmas wrapping. Also, I know it's going to be mentioned in the comments. Yes, I will show you my Christmas tree soon. I did film a video decorating it, sort of. Um, but I wasn't very happy with it, like the video. So I think I'm going to try and film something else next week. And then slot pieces of it in because some of it, is usable but yeah i just also feel a lot of pressure i feel like i've been talking about this tree for for so many years that there's a lot of pressure for it to be absolutely exceptional i'm just going to like put it out there i'm not a professional tree decorator but i do love my tree i am very very happy with it it's very magical it looks traditional it's yeah, I'm pleased with it. I can't wait to show you, so we'll show you very soon before Christmas, don't worry. And yeah, thanks for watching guys and hope you have a lovely weekend. Bye. Yes. Traditional bueno.